I have a confession. See, I am prone to feeling bitter about the successes that elude me, rather than being grateful for the blessings that I have and the journey I am still fortunate enough to be traveling. As the cliche goes, those who try the most fail the most. And frankly, I have failed a lot. Okay. When I was working a day job full time, I would often soak that I wasn't accomplishing enough. When I started to write my book, I, I convinced myself that if only I would finish this book, I would feel like, like a success. Then I finished it, and I felt accomplished, but I still didn't feel successful. So I thought I would feel successful after I was finally published. And after a long, frustrating time, hey, I was finally published! But then when my attempts at marketing the book failed to meet expectations, and because I wasn't selling as many books as I had hoped, because I wasn't reaching as many people as I had hoped, I became discouraged at the small amount of success I had found. And I became ungrateful for the inconceivable blessings that God has given me. Now, as time has gone on, I still have moments when I feel like I have failed or I'm still failing because I'm not successful enough or accomplished enough. I can get so, I can get so caught up in this vague and ambiguous destination of success that, that I forget to learn the lessons that the journey is meant to teach me. There is no fast track to the destination we want, nor should there be. Anyone who has ever tried to grow a garden knows that you can't hurry your plants. If you try to impatiently rush the process with too much water or too much sunlight, you don't end up with healthy crops and the harvest will not be a good one. <laughs> it is so important that we have patience and that we learn the lessons that the hardships and adversity have to teach us. That we develop character. Without character, no amount of success we, we gain can exist without giving way to self-conceit. Not to mention without character, any success you do have will be short-lived. I promise you that. And we should not convince ourselves that success is purely a reward. It has, it has tests of its own. When was it that David, the man after God's own heart, became an adulterer and a murderer? It was not when he was working the fields as a shepherd, when he was fighting the Philistines, or when he was on the run for his life from King Saul. His fall came after he had made it to great heights, when his goal of being king had materialized. David's weakness showed when he became comfortable in his castle. Life is not as linear as we would like it to be. It is not work hard, be successful, happy ending. There is no paradise on this earth, whether we have plenty or next to nothing. Our circumstances might change for the better, for the worse, or not at all. But our circumstances are not the point. The journey is the point. Our purpose is the point. Philippians 4, 11 through 13 says, I have learned to be content no matter my circumstances, whether in need or with plenty, whether I am well fed or when I am hungry, for I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. By the way, the Apostle Paul wrote that when he was in prison. Paul had as hard of a life as it gets, pursuing his purpose, and he never stopped pursuing it to the day he was beheaded. What's your excuse? We have no excuse. Our journey and our purpose do not end. There is no finish line in this life. No matter what success I do or do not have, I am not done. If I fail at what I set out to do, I am not done. If I fall flat on my face and am humiliated for all to see, I am not done. If I succeed beyond my wildest dreams, I am not done. I have not achieved true success. I have not crossed that finish line until I see heaven and I hear the words, Well done, good and faithful servant. Until such a time, success or not, the work is not finished. We all still have a purpose. All things work together for good to them that love God, to Him, to God. Everything you do matters. Everything you do, it all makes a difference towards His purposes. So don't stop. Don't ever stop pursuing your purpose. Don't stop trying. Don't stop working at it. Don't stop getting better. Don't stop growing. Don't stop improving. Don't stop touching the lives of everyone around you, even in the smallest of ways. I don't care how small. Everything you do matters to Almighty God. You still have a purpose. Pursue it. I don't care what it is. Your job, your business, your marriage, your health, your ministry. Pursue it. 
If you try and fail, stand back up and shout, I am not done! If you've been working at your goal for years with little to no success, I am not done! If you've lost everything, you're broke, you're starting over from scratch, I am not done! If you're waiting on God's timing, I am not done! Keep pressing on! There is no surrender in this life. The day will come when the Lord calls you home. But today is not that day. You are alive. As long as there is beating in your chest, you are not done. You are not done.